That's the burn. How's it going guys? Uh, kind of standing awkwardly in the corner of my room because my window faces another window and I wanted good lighting but I didn't want the person who's currently in that window to see me talking to a camera. So I'm going to go for a long run today. Um, should be pretty fun. I still don't really have my race plans set. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing Red Rock 50 in Santa Barbara. Logistically it's a little challenging but I don't really have anything going on in November. so. And it's always a race that I've kind of wanted to do, so I might do that. So for today's long run, I'm going to try and get to a place called Silver Stream. Um, the tricky thing is, there was actually a fire that burnt down some of the trails that I need to get to Silver Stream. Um, I think I can avoid the fire zone and skirt through some areas that I'm probably not supposed to be in, but should be plenty safe and, and in no one's way. Um, so I'm going to try and take those trails. I've lived through some pretty terrible fires, um, some of them actually a little bit traumatic, um, and obviously this little fire that burnt on Flagstaff is uh, it, like it's nothing compared to the stuff that I've lived through. I mean, no one you know lost houses or their lives or anything, um, but I just think it's crazy ironic that uh, here in New Zealand where fires are super uncommon, it just so happens that where my favorite trail is burnt down. Um, or, you know, was damaged. Uh, yeah, that's just, it's just crazy. It's like they follow me everywhere. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get on this run and uh, we'll head out there. I'm on the pineapple track right now. It's open. Um, I was pretty bummed out about the prospect of these trails being closed for the rest of my time here. But. They're back open after five or so days. I'm pretty stoked. So when I'm out on these super long trail runs that take three to four hours, I think about, you know, kind of what the purpose of it is. How, like, how does this help? And uh, I break ultra running success down into two things. There's speed and there's durability. Now you've gotta have both, obviously. Nobody's gonna win Western States or even UTMB with an eight minute mile PR. Um, but the longer the race, the more durability plays into it. A guy like Jim Walmsley, he's a 404 miler and uh, you know he's won Western States, he's obviously got a good amount of both, but he hasn't hacked UTMB, so to some extent you know durability is still something that he's lacking a little bit. And then on the other hand I think of someone like Courtney DeWalter, you know she's fast for sure, but she was fourth at Lake Sonoma a couple years ago. Um, and uh, I think that speaks to the fact that she's just incredibly durable. So I know that I'm not going to be someone that's ever super fast. I mean, I've run 459 in the mile. So I've got some speed, but I'd like to be someone who's super durable. Um, I mean, look at Jeff Browning. Jeff Browning is 47. He's not running any 65-minute half marathons. And yet he's always in the top 10 at Western States because, you know, he knows he's not going to fall apart. So, I figure with runs like these, if I can get through 20 miles or 18, whatever, you know, eventually maybe 30, feeling good, you know, then you're into the canyons at Western States feeling good. And after that, of course, you're going to be hurting a little bit. But, you know, you just want to know that you can get through without falling apart. That means a lot in this sport. It's 
so much mud. Hour and 40 minutes, just walking up a dirt road. been two hours and I've only done about ooh, nine miles pretty technical miles though it's about 8.8 .8 miles in two hours and uh, I'm gonna turn around I was gonna do a little loop down here but I've kind of run out of time a little bit and I only have so much food and I'm not interested in a hard bonk so gonna head in the uh, the opposite direction not gonna go back exactly the same way but um, a similar way anyway two and a half hours in Feeling like, like exhausted, but the hills definitely feel steeper than they are. That's for sure. All right, so I'm climbing now up Ben Rudd Track, which is super steep, about a 900 foot climb. Let me tell you a story about Ben Rudd. So Ben Rudd was this like cute little old guy, um, and he kind of hated people, so he built this house up here in the early 1900s and uh, just lived up there kind of away from Dunedin. New Zealand and especially Otago, this region of New Zealand, has a long history of uh, quote-unquote tramping which is basically hiking. Um, people were doing crazy missions even in the early 1900s. I mean it's one of the reasons that you know one of the first two guys to uh, summit Everest together was Sir Edmund Hillary from, I think he's from Auckland, but still. There would always be people tramping through Ben Rudd's property and he'd come out with his shotgun and go, ah, get out of here, whatever. Um, so at some point, the uh, Otago Tramping Club sort of decided to just get friendly with the guy and they eventually all agreed that the trampers would be allowed to use Ben Rudd's property if they built a trail around it, you know, around far enough out. And uh, I think that's what this is. But anyway, that was the 1930s. Dude's dead now, but there's still uh, like a shelter named after him and the trail, obviously. A little history lesson from the mouth of somebody who's pretty tired and climbing a hill. I was bonking really hard at like mile 24 and I remember forgetting where I was for about 10 seconds 
thought I was in San Francisco. I was in Wellington, New Zealand. All right, it's Sunday. This is sort of the end of the video. I'm literally gonna edit this in like half an hour. Finished yesterday's run feeling like pretty darn exhausted and it makes physical sense to take Sunday off, but it makes uh, logistical sense to run on Sunday and take Monday off because Monday is kind of a heavy day of classes or whatever. So I figured I'd try and get out the door and do 70 minutes expecting to feel really terrible and I felt weirdly good. Um, Achilles felt good, everything felt good. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have a great run after three and a half hours yesterday, but that's what happened. So I'm um, pretty stoked about that. Um, Thanks for following my training. Again, I'm gonna run a race in November, but I don't know what it is yet. Um, but uh, the legs are feeling good and I'm feeling like I'm in good shape. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna go take a shower, edit this, and uh, I'll see you next week.